today we are going to be building this Power Wheels adapter using Fusion 360, Creality Slicer, these materials here in front of us, and a 3D printer. When we got on Amazon to look them up, this is kind of the prices we saw, so we figured we could save a couple bucks anyways doing it ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into Fusion 360 and we're going to model up this adapter. And this is a two-piece adapter. Uh, it's going to have a little back plate that uh, encompasses the connector in there. And there's the back plate. And once again, this is a free software you can download. There is a paid version as well. Now we're going to jump into Creality Slicer and we're going to slice this model so that the 3D printer knows how to print it. And this uh, K1 Max, it prints very quickly. We're pretty happy with the results of it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to break off the supports that we had to add and that's just uh, helps make the print whenever you have voids and stuff it can't print over nothing so you gotta pop those uh, supports out of there so we got this little uh, connector on Amazon I wanna say it was about three fifty four dollars uh, and that was the most expensive piece and then of course this fuse holder I think it was about a dollar fifty so uh, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna solder these wires onto this adapter and we use this Milwaukee battery operated soldering iron and it heats up very quickly I'm pretty happy with how well this soldering iron works Okay, so now we're going to slap this back cover on to cover everything back up. It uses six two millimeter screws. And there it is. Let's see how this thing snaps in there. Look at that perfect fit. All right, well, there it is. This is our built in house Power Wheels DeWalt battery adapter. Thanks for watching.